Word problems in real life. Last week I had three kids at my house and they each wanted to color some Easter eggs for Easter. And they decided they each wanted to do seven eggs. So I needed to figure out how many eggs I needed to hard boil for them to color it. So this was a real problem I needed to solve at my house. And it read like this. There were three kids. They each wanted to color seven Easter eggs. How many eggs in total? So the first thing I wanna do when I get a story problem is circle the numbers in the problem. I know that there are three kids and they each want seven eggs. So I'm gonna do something with the numbers seven and three. Just not sure what yet. So the first thing I'm gonna do is draw this out. There were three kids. One, two, three. And they each want to color seven eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got seven eggs for each kid. Now how do I figure out the total? Well, if you were to look at your um, story problem clues, you would know that total tells you to do something specific with these numbers. Well, in order to figure out how many I'm going to have all together, I'm going to add these numbers. 7 plus 7 plus 7. But that's not a 3. That's 7 plus 7 plus 7. Well, whenever I add the same number over and over and over, it's the same as multiplying. So I am writing the number 7 three times. So I'm going to multiply those two numbers together. Now I could add 7 plus 7 plus 7, and if I was to count these up, I would know that it equals 21. And if I was to look at my multiplication chart, I would also know that 7 times 3 equals 21. So for real life, I knew that I needed 21 eggs to color for Easter.